Okay, we're going to talk about um, paint by equations. Um, I assume you know how to get the Desmos at this point. If not, type in DESMOS to Google, and there you go. Uh, paint by equations. There's no, in our course, uh, there's no file given to you. You can make any picture you want. So you can make it from scratch and start making, you know, smiley faces. Maybe there's a happy, uh, there's a smile. We drop it down a little, um, and then we'll have to play with the domain of it. So I'd go to ABC, okay, if you want to play with domain, this little um, keyboard pops up. We put our curly brackets, and maybe I want the domain to be from negative to positive 2. So I go negative 2, um, 1, 2, 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2. And there you go, you kind of get a smile. And then maybe we want some um, angled lines. Um, so maybe I use our y equals mx plus b, Oops, plus b. And we can make some sliders for this, and maybe I want it to have a negative slope, so that's like the left eye. And then I want to duplicate that same thing. Um, so I'm going to write it in this time. I'm going to say uh, the positive slope of that, 0.8x uh, plus 1. There we go. And it kind of looks like a joker's face. We can put domain on these two objects. We can cut the domain maybe from negative 2 to negative 1. Same idea. Curly brackets, I know I'm going through this really quick. Negative 1, uh, less than x, less than... Oh, I wrote that in the same wrong order. Oh, okay, very important. Actually, let's talk about this. So I've written these in the wrong order, this inequality. So I have to make sure my negative 2, because it's the farthest to the left, is the first value, and my negative 1 there. So there's kind of supposed to be an i. And I duplicate that domain over here. We hit our curly brackets. And farthest to the left is actually 1, which is less than or equal to s and less than or equal to 2. And there we go. I've kind of made a smiley face. Okay. So this is one way to come up with an idea. Um, difficult to build from scratch. Also for this assignment, maybe you want to import an image. So I'm going to turn off these. Okay, So we can click the um, colors on the left there, and we can turn them off. I'm going to import an image. Okay, So I've already gone to Google. I'm going to, I went to the plus add item. I go to image here. I'm going to put a happy face. So maybe I want to draw this happy face. So if you notice, it actually keeps the grid in the background of the happy face, which is really good. So maybe I want to try to use a quadratic to put the, the smile of the face, just like I was kind of doing before. You can use any form. I'm going to use a vertex form just because I find that easiest to graph with personally. Um, plus x. And I'm going to build some sliders so that I'm not just playing with numbers. This one gives me a little more exact. So if you notice, I play with the k value, you can quickly drop it down. Okay, you can move it over to the left a little so it's kind of in the middle. And we can kind of get that wideness of smile. And maybe here I gotta be a little more exact with my values. Um, at point 0.1, it's a little too wide. So 0.15 maybe. Maybe 0.155. Uh, 0.18, that's not bad. 0.19, hey, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're kind of getting the smile. Maybe I'm gonna pull it up just a little. Hey, and then when we zoom in, it looks like I've gotten a pretty good smile. Now maybe I want to cut the smile off at negative 3 and positive 3. Great. So same idea. We go into the expression, we'll go slower through domain. Um, I can cut the domain, or I can cut the range. In fact, the range, because it's symmetrical, should be roughly at... Um, actually, let's say I want to cut it at negative 1.5. Okay? I want everything to be less than that. So I click on the expression and I get my little values, my um, keyboard. I hit A, B, C, and I got to go to curly brackets here. And I want to say that Y or the Y values are less than something. So I'm going to type Y in first. I'm going to say Y is less than um, negative 1.5. Okay. Now you can't see it. Um, y is less than negative 1.5. It says it doesn't accept this expression. Oh, let me do a little troubleshooting on top. So I've given it a parameter of y, but I haven't included y in the equation. So I didn't type it in, but this should be a y equals. And once I've done that, now we have our expression. Now it's really hard to see because the picture in the background is kind of cloudy. At any point, I can turn that picture off, or I can play with different colors to see it overlapping. So I've kind of taken the shape of that mouth there. And they can use all kinds of different equations, maybe lines, quadratics, rational cubic, whatever you want to draw this image, okay? And that's the, essentially the idea. You want to, in the end, turn this picture off and still have some type of image that looks like the image you're trying to draw, okay? And then that's the gist of paint by equation. It's really very open. Draw any appropriate picture that you like.